What is going on everybody, Beast HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial here in Photoshop CS6, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Valentine's Day card, because tomorrow is indeed Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd show you how to make a really easy custom Valentine's Day card for whomever you would like to give it to. So there will be a link in the description as to where you can get a folder that will have all the images and pictures that I will be using to make this card, but if you would like to, you can of course go and find your own pictures to make this card with. So once you have the folder downloaded, open up Photoshop, go to File, New. You want your width to be 2,339 pixels. So with 2,339 pixels, your height 1,654 pixels. Resolution, ah, resolution, I can't even talk. <laughs> resolution 200 pixels per inch. Make sure it's pixels per inch. RGB color 8-bit. Have your background as white. And then just hit OK. And it gives you a template that is the perfect size of an A4 sheet. So then you want to go to view and make sure you have your rulers selected. So just click on rulers if it is not, if there's no tick beside it basically. And you will get this. So you will see the template goes from 0 to 30. So go to where it says 15. So everything from 15 to 30 is going to be the front of your card. And anything from 0 to 15 is going to be the back of your card. Because if you print this out, you can fold it over and make it look like a proper card. So um, yeah, anything from 15 to 30 is basically going to be the front of your card. So just keep that in mind. So once you have your template and all done and dusted, then we're going to go to File, Open. <clears throat> and open the red grunge background, just double click on it and Photoshop will bring it in automatically. Once Photoshop has it in, come down here to where it says background, right click on background and go to duplicate layer. Then uh, just name it as, I don't know, BG or something. Name it as whatever you want and then just hit OK. And then make sure you're on your move tool. Your move tool is your first tool up here at the top. And then just left click and drag the background straight into your template. So this is way too big, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control t on the keyboard to resize it. You'll see the little box appears. Just drag the picture down until you can see one of the corners of the box. Then just left click on the corner and make it much smaller. Just keep doing it until the picture is quite small, basically. <clears throat> like so, and I'm basically going to resize this so it fits the front of the card. So I'm going to line it up with the 15. It's a little bit too big. There we go. And there we go. So once you're happy with it and that the front of your card is uh, basically, basically just once you're happy with it, then just hit this tick over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, blur, then you're going to go to iris blur and just click on iris blur. And then once it comes up, left click the middle of the iris blur and just drag it over to the front of your card like this. So drag it over to the right a little bit, the right of your template. Then come up to the top, left click and just drag this up a little bit and you'll see it will resize it. Come over to the left and drag it in a good bit, like that. Then just make sure it's in the middle. There we go. Once you're happy, once it looks kind of like this, kind of like my one, then um, put the blur up to around 30 and hit OK. And then Photoshop will take a minute or so to do this. Come on. Okay, there we go. So we have a little blur around our image and it's looking pretty good. So once you have your blur in, then we're going to go to File once again, Open. <clears throat> then open up the heart.jpg. Heart ah, heart.jpg. I cannot pronounce words today. <laughs> anyway, once again, come over here to where it says Background. Right click on Background, Duplicate Layer. And then just type in Heart or whatever you want. Just hit OK. Once again, make sure you're on your move tool, we are indeed, so left click and just drag the heart image straight into your template once again. And we're going to have to resize this again a little bit, so once again, control T on your keyboard. Just resize it a little bit, I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller like this. Make sure there's a little bit of room at the top and bottom of your image, because we're going to be doing some more stuff later on. So make sure there's room up here and down here. make this a tiny bit bigger and once you're happy just hit the tick so go down to where it says heart over here in your layers and then just above heart you'll see a drop down menu that says normal on it click the drop down menu and then select screen 
and it just changes it like so. <clears throat> so now we're going to add some text in. So your text tool is this capital T here. Just click on the capital T and then left click and drag out to make your box to type in. And then basically just type in whatever you want. I'm just going to say happy Valentine's Day. So there's happy there. The font I am using is called French Script MT. It's just joint writing. It looks nice and elegant and stuff like that. So uh, that's why I'm using that. And I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger. So 60. It might be a bit too big though. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at 48. And I'm just going to hit the... I'm going to rotate this a little bit actually. So just go down to one of the corners, left click and drag out to rotate it. I'm happy, so I'm going to click that tick. Then I'm going to go back to my move tool, just left click on that and I'm going to stick it in this heart here, if I can get it there. There we go. And once again, text tool. Happy Valentine's. There we go. Rotate it once again. Looks like it's matching up with that happy, so I'm going to hit the tick, back to the move tool, and then it's going to place it there. <clears throat> Finally, text tool, once again, left click, drag out, and then just day, rotate it a tiny bit, hit the tick, back up to the move tool, and there we go. We have our happy Valentine's Day, or whatever text you would like to have in your little heart there. So now I'm gonna customize this by adding some pictures in. So you can add some pictures in of whoever you're giving the card to. If you wanna add pictures of you and them, uh, then you can, or just add pictures of them, or just random pictures if you want. But there's two ways you can do this. Uh, at the top, I'm gonna show you one way, and at the bottom, I'm gonna show you another. The top is gonna be basically, your picture will be in a heart shape. And then at the bottom, it's just gonna look like a little collage. You can do both if you want, or you can just select whichever one you think looks better, basically. So just go to File, Open, and then bring in whatever picture you'd like to use. I'm just using these random pictures of couples I found on the internet. So bring your picture in, right-click on the background, duplicate layer, and then just say pick one or whatever you want to name it. Hit OK. Make sure you're on your move tool. We are, so I'm going to drag this in. Like so. This is way too big, so Control t just to resize this down. You don't. It doesn't have to be that perfect for the moment. So just drag it up to the top and then hit the tick and then go to file open once again. So file open and then uh, just double click on heart2.png uh, and Photoshop will open that. And you can just drag this straight. You don't have to duplicate the layer. So drag this straight in like so. And then I'm just going to hit control T just to rotate this heart a little bit like that and I'm happy so I'm gonna hit the tick so then go to your picture uh, mine's called pick one so whatever picture you are putting into this heart drag it above layer one which will be your heart and then put your mouse just in between pick one and layer one hold control alt on the keyboard until you see a little arrow and a box appear and then just left click on your mouse and it will create a clipping mask so you can just move the picture around like this and there we go you are now in a heart <laughs> so you can do this as many times as you want i'll just do it once more so file open uh, i'll just bring another random couple in like so so right click duplicate layer okie dokie and then drag this tray in Arr. <clears throat> yeah, man. okay we have our second random couple in and it's become uh, went in as a clipping mask by an accident so if that happens just left click on the background and just drag it down somewhere else so it is not a clipping mask so once again control t to resize it to make it smaller for now and hit this tick here so go back to your heart template left click and drag it in and I'm going to have to delete a layer because I've got too many open at the moment or delete a composition. So I'm going to drag this heart in once again. 
So control T and I'm just going to rotate it to the right this time a little bit like that. I'm happy. So I hit the tick, then bring this, oh, then select the picture you want in the heart once again, like that. Make sure your picture is above the heart. Once again, put your arrow between the picture and the heart. Control Alt until you get the little box and the arrow and then just left click and you are once again in a heart. <laughs> so the second thing you can do is just basically have the image kind of look like it's in the picture. I don't really know how to explain it, so I'm just going to show you. Uh, first off, I'm just going to close a few of these layers. We don't need this heart anymore. We don't need this anymore. So there we go. I'm just going to get this couple once again. Drag it in. Control T to resize. Drag it down like that. Oh God. And I'm just going to make the picture a bit smaller and I'm happy with that. So hit the tick. So if you want to do this way instead, then make sure your layer is selected. Your picture is selected over here. Go up to that drop down menu. Once again, that says normal. Click down on the drop down menu and just hit soft light and your picture will turn red. It'll look like you're in the picture, basically. You're in the background. Don't really know how to explain it. I'll do it once more just so you can kind of see the difference. But if you want to do this with uh, just different pictures, you can, I suppose. So Control T, resize this down. Or you could put a load of pictures in and make your whole card a collage if you would like to. So once again, go to where it says normal and then hit soft light and you are in the background of the picture. So you can do this with loads of pictures or you can do this up here. You can just do it loads of times if you want. Then for the back of the card, you can basically do whatever you want. I'm not really going to do much because just because of time limits, basically. But uh, if you want to add some text, if you want to get your poetry on, then just once again, hit that giant T down there or the capital T, then type whatever you want. Um, like so, or if you want to do a big poem or something, you can. And then if you print this out, you can fold it over and it'll look like a Valentine's Day card, basically. A nice custom one that's really, really, really easy to make. So really hope you enjoy. So once you're happy with your card and you have everything you want, then just go to File, <clears throat> Save As, then say name, name it whatever you want and save it as a JPEG like that, save it to wherever you want, just hit save, and there you go, you have your Valentine's Day card, you can print it off, or you can just send it uh, by an email, or whatever you want to do with it, so I really hope you enjoyed, and I really hope you found this helpful, if you did, please do leave a like on the video, and also subscribe for more tutorials in the future, um, yeah, so I will see you guys next video, have a very fantastic Valentine's Day, see you guys later!